The other day I was listening to Perriman Tree's excellent video about death, his part one of two, and during that video he mentioned a term that rang a slight bell with me. He mentioned the term pro-mortality and he mentioned it in the context of him and Qualia Soup having been accused of pro-mortality. And I thought that's a bizarre notion to make. And in the back of my mind, I had a vague recollection of somebody at some stage making a similar accusation about myself. And I was wondering what could bring somebody to arrive at that conclusion. And I think the thing about this supposed pro-mortality is that people like him, like Thurman Trees, Cryer Soup and myself, have presented a number of videos and arguments encouraging people to accept the reality of the situation. And the reality of the situation with regard to life is that we are all mortal and we all will one day die. But that is a far cry from being pro-mortality. Accepting the reality of a situation, just like accepting the fact that life has evolved on this planet and is continuing to evolve on this planet, is not the same as accepting that everything about the situation is therefore honky-dory and just fine. But what people like him, like Tarman Trees, Kraya Soup and myself are continuously arguing is that there is no point in indulging in fantasies trying to escape the reality of the situation. You will one day die. That doesn't mean that I would, for example, not be inclined to avail of medical advances, technological advances that would allow me to lead a longer, healthier and happier life. If that sort of technology becomes available, I will obviously avail of it and benefit from it. But the idea that anybody could, in whatever way, live forever is and will always remain a pipe dream, even if we can somehow overcome the basic tendencies of our physical bodies to deteriorate age and break down over time, that will only delay the inevitable. No matter how you look at it, at one day we're going to have to face the fact that our sun will go red giant. At one day we might even have to face the heat death of the universe or the colliding of the brains or whatever you want to think is the current idea about how this whole universe will come to an end. Nothing will ever last forever. This planet won't last forever, this galaxy won't last forever, this universe won't last forever, and you most definitely are not going to last forever. Like I say, that is not being pro-mortality. That is just accepting reality for what it is. Warts and all.